Operation Battleaxe was a British Army operation during the Second World War in June 1941, to clear eastern Cyrenaica of German and Italian forces and raise the siege of Tobruk. It was the first time during the war that a significant German force fought on the defensive but the operation failed as British forces attacked strong defensive positions created by German General Erwin Rommel. The British lost over half of their tanks on the first day and only one of the three attacks succeeded. The British achieved mixed results on the second day being pushed back on their western flank and repulsing a big German counter-attack in the center. On the third day, the British narrowly avoided disaster by withdrawing just ahead of a German encircling movement. The failure of Battleaxe led to the replacement of British General Sir Archibald Wavell Commander-in-Chief Middle East. By Claude Affleck, Wavell took Affleck's position as Commander-in-Chief, India. Background Operation Sonnenblumer In late March 1941, soon after the arrival of the Africa Corps in Tripoli, Libya to reinforce the Italians, the Axis forces quickly captured the British front-line position at El Aguila and by mid-April, had reached as far as Salem, Egypt. The British held the fortified port of Tobruk, which was besieged by the Axis. Having been informed by General Wavell that the Western Desert Force was vastly inferior to the Axis forces now in Africa, Churchill ordered that a convoy of tanks and Hawker Hurricanes, Convoy WS-58, be sailed through the Mediterranean instead of around the Cape of Good Hope to cut 40 days off the journey. To Brook the German Armed Forces High Command sent General Friedrich Paulus to Africa to investigate the situation. On 12 May General Paulus, after witnessing one of Rommel's failed attempts to assault a brook, sent a report to OKW describing Rommel's position as weak, with critical shortages of both fuel and ammunition. With Operation Barbarossa imminent, Field Marshal Walther von Brauchich, Commander-in-Chief of the German Army, ordered Rommel not to advance further or attack Tobruk again. Operation Brevity through Ultra Intercepts, the British also received Paulus a report and Churchill, believing that one strong push would dislodge German forces, began to increase the pressure on General Wavell to attack. Wavell quickly prepared Operation Brevity, a limited operation with the intention of seizing Solim, the Harfire Pass and Fort Capuzzo, then continuing to advance onto Sea Diazis and towards Tobruk as far as supply would allow. While not risking the forces committed, its objective was to destroy as much Axis equipment as possible and secure a foothold for the larger Operation Battleaxe to be launched from once the new tanks were made available. Brevity began on 15 May and Fort Capuzzo and Halfire Pass were captured but next day William got concerned that his 22nd Guards Brigade would be wiped out of court in the open should the Germans attack with tanks, decided to pull almost the entire force back to Harthire Pass and the operation officially ended on 17 May, with only the Harthire Pass captured. The pass was retaken by a small German force on 27 May, in Operation Operation Scorpion. Greece and Crete By the end of May, the Greek island of Crete had fallen to the Germans. This meant that the German Air Force would have additional airfields available to threaten an Allied shipping and also to protect their own supply. Convoys and troops in Cyrenaica, delaying battle acts could therefore mean facing stronger Axis opposition. To offset this, the British Chiefs of Staff stated that it was imperative that control be wrested in the area between Solomon Derna and British Air Forces in that region be re-established. Prelude Tiger Convoy On 12 May, the Tiger Convoy arrived in Alexandria with 238 tanks and 43 hurricanes. 21 times light tank MK Vi, 82 times cruiser tanks and 135 times infantry tanks. There were delays in unloading the tanks, which also had to be adapted for desert use so Battleaxe was postponed until 10 June. 
The tanks were intended for the 7th Armored Division, which had been out of action since February, after most of its tanks had worn out during Operation Compass. British plan of attack on 28 May, Wavell gave his orders for Operation Battleaxe. An operation in three stages, the Axis forces were to be defeated on the frontier in the area of Harfire, Solim, Capuzzo and Sidi Aziz was to be secured. In the second phase, 13th Corps was to secure the area around Tobruk and El Adam, then the areas of Derna and Mechli were to captured. The plan was based on intelligence information, which incorrectly indicated that two-thirds of the German tank strength was at Tobruk which would put the British at a decisive material advantage on the frontier. The attack was scheduled for 7 June but was pushed back at the instance of General O'More Cray, whose squadrons had not received their tanks until 9 June. The new date was 15 June, giving Cray five days for additional training. In the first stage, the British would advance in of three-prong assault to clear the frontier region. Along the coast was coast force and inland was escarpment force. The former was responsible for capturing Harfire Pass, while the latter was to capture the remainder of the frontier at Fort Capuzzo, Merced and Solemn. The 7th Armoured Brigade Group and the artillery of the support group were to engage and destroy the German tanks, which were thought to be at Hafford Ridge. This would also trap Axis units on the frontier between themselves and the remainder of the British forces. After capturing the frontier, the brigades of the 7th Armoured Division would reform and continue north to relieve Tobruk. Once joined by the Tobruk garrison, the combined forces would press on to the west, driving the Germans as far back as possible. Three days prior to the start of Battle Axe, to help soften the Axis forces, the Royal Air Force was to bomb Benghazi while all aircraft capable of ground attack were to bomb Axis movement on the frontier. Once the battle began, fighters were to patrol defensively over Allied ground forces, while medium bombers were to stand by to engage Axis columns. Such was the priority on Battle Axe. That Arthur Tedder was instructed by the Chiefs of Staff to accept significant risks in other theatres by diverting all possible air support for it. Beresford Peace and Tedder established headquarters well to the rear, at C.D. Barani and Martin Bagush. Beresford Peace chose C.D. Barani as, even though it was more than a five-hour drive from the battlefield. It was equipped with the most advanced airfield for reconnaissance aircraft and was also the most forward position from which communications could be maintained with Martin Bagush. Axis preparations though brevity had failed to yield any territory to the British. It showed Rommel that his front-line defences were quite easy to breach. Anticipating further British attacks, the Axis forces created a line of fortified positions from Harfire to Sidi Aziz, placing a number of anti-tank guns and anti-tank mines on the Harfire Pass, point 206 and on point 208. The primary responsibility of the frontier defence was charged to the 15th Panzer Division, which had received a new commander, General Walter Newman Silkoff, on 8 June. Poor signals security in the 7th Armoured Division gave Rommel nine hours' notice of the operation. Rommel sent the 5th Light Division to the south of Tobruk, ready to use it against either the Solemn area or on Tobruk and ordered a big artillery bombardment of Tobruk the night before the operation, to prevent the Allied garrison from breaking out. Unfortunately, our petrol stocks were badly depleted, and it was with some anxiety that we contemplated the coming British attack, for we knew that our moves would be decided more by the petrol gauge than by tactical requirements.